Alright guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm going to discuss on how to is use uh, the UTC's integration tool with Easy Road system. Um, well, if you have, if you don't know how to, in, to install the integration tool, it's very easy. Okay, just go to my web page and find out the, the information on how to install the easy route 3d integration uh, is on my web page so the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to download and install the latest version of uh, UTC that is version 1.83 1.83 a1 or higher now you can download and install easy route uh, 3d version 3.3.0 a1 and uh, that's the link to the Easy Road uh, package. The next thing you want to do is you want to download and install the Easy Road uh, integration tool, which will be available on the access to version. Um, once you have installed all these packages, you should uh, check the assets folder, you get all these uh, folders here, you get UTC folder here. Also get the etc underscore easy road uh, integration folder. And you also get the easy road uh, folders. So now that you have all this, all this important. Let's get started. As you can see, yeah, I, I have already created. A, I have already created the ground object. I have. A, Created my multi thread object under my spawn manager, and I also have a player object. The same, I'm not going to go through the process of uh, saying how I did that. If you want to know how to create the spawn manager and the appropriate settings for the spawn manager, I have a video, I have already done a video on that. Check my um, web page to get the information about. The spawn manager and the multi thread game object. So, the first thing you want to do now is uh, you want to create the road network using the um, easy road tools. So, to do that, you navigate to game objects, uh, 3D, 3D objects, easy road, and then create a new road network back to. Click on yes. You should have a new road, a new road network game object. So next thing you want to do is you want to navigate to settings. You want to navigate to settings. Uh -huh. Navigate to settings and then find your way to AI traffic and then uh, click on the act, active uh, option there to generate, to generate a new lane data and you set uh, the lane to right hand traffic and make sure all these boxes are checked the next thing you are going to do is go to create a new road object so I will go to the road panel, the road, uh, panel there and I select a new road Use a default route with the width of 15, uh, and I click on Add New Object. Go to hover my mouse to the same view. Click on Shift with the left mouse button. Add new node. Add another node. Okay, 
to increase the UV tide so that the road is visible. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, create I'm going to create a T-junk, a T-junction, as a default T-cross me. So let's let it run, I'm going to create a new default T-cross me object. So now that I've created a new T junction, just create another road out of it. enough to work with. So now we have um, we have created uh, a small road lane. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a battery generator to using the UTC's uh, integration tool. So to do that you go to the easy traffic system go to volume 2. You should see this integration uh, option there, easy road version 3 and you create the path generator path generator now there's a path generator in the hierarchy now, you select that and then make sure your pick on start is checked through in your line iteration I recommend a value of 3 for a very small town or city um, the higher you go, the lesser the resolution of the nodes, and the lower the value, the more accurate it builds, builds the the nodes. That's like uh, the lower the value, the more the more CPU consumption, while the higher the value of the iteration. Less CPU consumption, so I'm going to use a value of three. Here. Next, you watch here, check the vehicle option is empty. To fill that up, you go to UTC's easy UTC easy roads integration folder. Then I'm going to prepare to see the lane builder there. You drag and drop that lane builder into the vehicle slot. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on play. I'm going to click on play so that um, it's sick on them. Click automatically create notes for the road data and start. So next I'm going to click on pause. Ignore this. I ignore this warning. It's because I have two cameras in the scene. That's not my problem right now. So, if you pay attention to what is going on here, you see that there are nodes already generated in the scene. You can 
select the new created bad parent game object. Observe that uh, UTC has automatically generated uh, nodes for for you. You don't have to go to the stress of placing nodes one after the other, which are one after the other. So. so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to part part uh, folder. And you want to drag and drop uh, the new part parent came up getting to the parts folder there so that you create the prefer button. But before you do that, you can name it to make the part one. We we'll call this part one. So we'll drag and drop this. You can go up play mode. Go up play mode now. You can drag the part, uh, the new part prefab as part one into the hierarchy and not the scene. Because if you drag this into the scene, you might miss the rotation and the position. So, in order to keep the accurate position and rotation, you have to drag this directly into the hierarchy view. So, once you drag that, you have uh, your nodes seen. The next thing you want to do is you want to, you want to join the nodes together. So select this node. You select this node. You select the other node. Click on J. You join. You select this node. This node. Okay. First of all, select this one. Select this node. This node. And you join. And drag this over a bit. Aha. So. Um, next, you can. Uh, Select this one and select this one. Click on J to join. Great. Now we have um we have all the nodes joined successfully together. I will drag my player game objects. Just right there. Next thing. Next thing you want to do is you want to go back to your art generator tool and disable uh, play on start. Make sure you do that because you don't want it to go through the process of generating the node again. As uh, part. So, next, I think I'm going to click on play to test. So, this is my player. Take a close look around to see that the vehicles are still spawning. Forgive my uh, computer, it's not that, it's not that powerful, it's uh, working on the weak system here, so it's going to lag drop frames because it's what it does. So, uh, pay close attention to what's going on here, the vehicles are. Spawning. 
Oh, and one more thing. If you if you make changes to the path, uh, the path game object, don't forget to apply. So you forgot, I forgot to apply. So those changes I made to the nodes were reverted. So I'm going to have to rejoin it with the nodes again. Do that with J join this together. Go to the process of joining them again. Yes, J. And um, the final node. Join them together. Once you once you are done joining all the nodes together. Make sure you click on the override and click apply. Just so you, just so that your your path your path game object prepared gets updated. Because if it doesn't get updated, once you click on play, it will reset the whole changes you have made, which is uh, terrible. So I'm going to click on play again. Observe, you see back spawning already automatically. It starts spawning. Just going to get closer to the uh, road. Spawning and the thing automatically generates the loads for you automatically. No stress. If you observe from here, I have a traffic system already. The same weather creates. There we go. So I'm going to stop this video now. And if you have any more questions, you can always uh, email me and I'll reply. Thanks for watching.